My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on out, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. All right. Oh, friend, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Me too, Mr. Midnight. Um, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Cool. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into the, the end of that place? Yeah, I remember. Great. Let's keep going. Kitty, we have to be careful now. Hey, our pills. Uh-oh, it's a trap. Our pills. Wow. Why, where are they going? Come on now. Don't fall for that. You're a smart girl now. Come on. You're 10 years old. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Out comes that tree guy again. <laughs> I told you you should give me some clothes. Now I'm going to just have to take the whole thing. Oh, no. I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, friend. Bad. Uh, we still got that knife? Yep. Bam. All right. You alright? It's you again, friend. You're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2 235. And I see it. You're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Or did he say intrigue? I can't remember. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Edward, your faithful friend. Edward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the one that keeps popping up in all the random spots. I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh? I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believe it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blame me instead of facing the fact that the parents never love them. But that stop talking about the sister, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I've always come by the night and told stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I am not imaginary. <laughs> you see, I am part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Uh, I can't trust you. <laughs> Why should I, uh, sir? I, I just can't just trust you. Listen, I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I am your friend. Uh, all right, you seem nice. I go with you. Whatever. Yes, my van is just over there. There's candy in there, so please be free to help yourself. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. This way. Follow me. When I turn around, you better be behind me. Okay. Here's my van. Behold, the Edward Flying Machine. What do you think? Uh, can it fly? It's all right, but can it really fly? Yes, with a gorgeous piece of mach with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. Step inside now. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 2:35 yet. And the police are not around. That sounds great, but uh, what is it about 235? Sorry, I don't understand. Don't you worry about that. When the time comes, it's when time becomes slower. That gives us a chance to enter in the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want and go. I can take you to Disney World. All you, all you gotta do is just stay in my ship. Right now, we're standing in the endless limits of the second reality. But you're a part of the third reality, do you understand? Yes, I understand it sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? No, you cannot! Wait, of course not. You can help me by getting water and fireberries, alright? Fireberries? Uh, okay. Alright, it's better than... It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great, great, great. Here's my amazing handmade bucket for water. I made it myself. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, 
the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because they are on fire. All right, sir, but can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? It's so that I can knock you out. I, I, so that we can, so we can make, uh, it's, it's good fuel. The last many, many, that last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalayas, Kamalas, or whatever they call. Oh, Kamala, Ka Kamala, I forgot how you say it, stupid man. I see, I hope <laughs> they don't come near the flying machine. We never know, but you don't know. They don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot their medicine. Your medicine, you need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Yeah. There's a roof in there, I want you to take that. Invisible <laughs> to my eyes, huh? Oh, I see. Well, thank you. You know, this game would be a lot more comfortable if Rambo wasn't a girl. <laughs> if it was like a boy or something, would be like, all right, he, he's a good lad, he'll be all right. But if it, when it's a girl, it's like, oh my God, it's like everybody's out to get her, you know? I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh yeah, it's about that, sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It was better than coming out and saying hello. That's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. Anyway, I go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine. Don't come back without materials. All right. Well, you heard that, Mr. Midnight. All right, let's go back here. Let's see what we got. Boom. All right, what's up? Hello, are you the shiny insects that got stuck in the trees because you were curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How did you know this? You're not one of us. I've met your kind and helped them out. I met some of your kind before and I helped them to free their curiosity. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Are you stuck? Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Okay. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck, I have to go now. All right. Hell is that way? Hey, the fire berries. Hell, well, I don't want to go there. Why not? Oh, the berries on fire. They must be the fire berries. Can we grab them? I can't reach them. Um, okay. Maybe we can find something. Hey, what's up? Get out, get out, you're trespassing on my territory. My bad, my bad. Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You had no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry. Very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten, bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Uh, misunderstanding? Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mi moose? I'm not a moose. I'm a, I'm a deadly worm. A deadly worm? Excuse me? A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just return to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh. Hey. I'm Frambo. What's up? Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello, friend. Can I ask why did you touch the moose in the first place? Did she? Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Of course not. I was trying to see if I can climb onto it and get the fire berries. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now and keep working. Thank you, sir. Okay. Get the fire berry. I can't take the fire berry. They're on fire. Okay, well. Cut them down. I could cut the berries off the tree, but they're on fire. Frambo, I don't know what to tell you. What's this thing? Open it up. Can you open it? I wonder why the doctor gave me this. I can't open it. Great! He gave me something I can't open. Use the bucket? Uh, it could work if I had water in the bucket. Okay. But wouldn't the berries get in the water and, like, distinguish the fire? 
Where can I find water? Wow, so much hair. It's so shiny. I bet you won't cut it. Okay. Yeah, but no water. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Am I nutritious? I don't know. Uh, yeah, like I figured it was before, yeah. Oh. What are we supposed to do? How are we gonna get the water? I don't know. Go, go back. What is this? Does it got water in it? Cut it now. Why not? Come on, take a chance. Only I would get stuck on this. Hey, can I talk to you? Uh, climb again? It's me. Can I climb on this again? Go ahead. Ah, uh, it's not what I wanted to do. I want to talk to him, see if he can help me out. I don't know, use a magic tone, I don't know. But I've read enough to find another solution, I think. Okay. Huh. Mm. I don't know, let me look it up. I give up. Frambo, I never would have thought of that. I probably would, like in an hour or two. Uh, can you give me some water? Oh man, I'm dying. I need help, please. Would you let me um, tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to my hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane. All I need is some water from other, from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket to my hair. Ah, thank you. All right. Wow, and I have to, I don't have to give you anything in return. All right, I think that's enough. The bucket is full now. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. Wait. Home is a place where we all belong. But does home belong somewhere? Um, can you please give me the bucket? Be quiet. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical, rhetorical question. I wanted to say that you were your own home. Okay. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. All right. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye. Give me the bucket, man. Shut up. I got time for this crap. <laughs> All right. All right. Are you gonna put the bucket on the ground? It didn't cut it down. Right, how you wanna do this? All right. Can I put it on the ground? Can I not? Frambo, I would hate to climb this thing only for you to say, well, it's gonna, if I cut it down, it's gonna drop down. And I won't be able to, I don't know, I'll get it. I need it. I need to climb. Let me up. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, um. There you go. The fire is gone. I can take it. I thought we needed them to be on fire, though. I can't just pull them off of my hands. Use the knife. Okay. All right, we got it. Is that it? Yo, 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 I got the rock. I got the water and the berries. There you go. Uh, hey. Did you find the fire berries in the water already? We need them to for the journey back home. Yeah, I did. Here's the water. Uh, Sir Edward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the the Luciferans? Something? That, yeah, the insects. That's nice. Okay. But only when you see them, it is... Only when you see them in this reality. They are very dangerous. If you ever see them in the fifth reality, they'll they can burn you. Okay. Wow, burn me. Well, I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's in what 
what's reasonable, there may be what? <clears throat> that may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Okay. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I gave you the water? I thought I gave you the bears. Here. I bought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, darling. Ah, friend, it's 234. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Follow me. Come on in. Got you. Close the door. <coughs> it's 236. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, friend? Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Maybe I'd be more excited if I understood more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers aren't easy to recognize. Okay. Sounds strange. That sounds strange to me. Don't worry about it. Time proceeds as it has in order to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'll probably explode. Are you telling me the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say time through time you must explore the experience to understand. That means the answers will come to you when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, uh, see, well, I'm excited now. You've woken my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. Or get kidnapped by a skeleton man. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance and I think you will be, I think you will do incredible work. Here are the fire bearings in the water that you gathered before. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed into the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room on the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic, automatic, automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Uh, see you soon. All right, sir. I'll do it. See you soon. Yes. Maybe I should push the button on. Oh. Oh. Okay. This this. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. What's going on? Pencil. I don't need this pencil. I already have a crayon. Okay. Can I pick up anything? Face. I have no flowers. What is this machinery? Ah, uh, it's a huge spinning top. It must be the engine or something. Okay. Oh. Reality view. Unreality view. Okay. Alright. Uh, chemical mixture. I'm guessing this is what I need to... Oh, man. I'll... Okay, hold up. Man, what's this? This is that picture. Okay. Let me just grab everything. Alright, that looked like... Alright, green... Green is in the next one, orange is in the third bottom, onto the third. Alright, well, we need to go back. But we're missing some chemicals. Okay, let's go back. Let's see what we can find. We gotta look around. Alright. Okay. Alright. Nothing happened. Oh, wait a second. I keep on forgetting we got the pills. Let's, let's see what this room looks like. Alright, not that bad, I guess. What do it look like in here, though? Oh my god. Hey, here's the green, too. <laughs> Let's go in here. Okay. I forgot. That, they make my controller vibrate whenever I do that. I got my controller connected. It's so weird you play the game with a controller. Um, 
the girls are back. And they got a key. That, they don't mind me taking it? Hello? Are you... Are you here to kill it? What? I'm very sorry for what I did. I hope you forgive me. Um... Hello? Why won't they talk to me? They're not really here. So weird they just sitting there like that. Okay. That's some gadgets and stuff. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I was missing this. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that should work. Alright. Alright, we got this thing. I think it's the Super Camera Team Master Fan Boat. I wombo, yep. You wombo, yep. We should turn that off. I think it's done. Okay, yeah, but we should turn it off. Alright, do we have a sample of it or. I mean, what? No, I don't even know why we made this, Frambo. <laughs> okay. I think it goes into the pipe. Okay, hold up. Is this ready to be used now? Hmm. Oh, fill up with water. There you go. Whoops, there you go. That's how you turn it on. I think I did it. Whatever I did. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Uh, do you need help? Uh, a long time ago I did. I think I managed quite well too. I did what you asked of me. Farewell, friend. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I, uh, I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you, would you kindly kill it? Um, I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. <laughs> With all the things I've seen, I can't imagine what kind of rabbit. Uh, is it a chocolate rabbit or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No, no blinking, no moving, staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show me. Otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. A rabbit. All right. Whoa, that light turned on. What? There, see, it's just sitting there. Isn't it strange? That toy? It's just a toy. From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please kill it, please? All right, sir, I'll take the rabbit and show you that it's nothing to be afraid of. Let me see what they look like in the other reality. It's a girl. Okay. She grabs it and it just like bite her head off. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's something to there's there's nothing to be afraid of. See you later. What? <laughs> okay. What to go, Mr. Mina? This is not funny. Oh my god. You fool! Did you honestly think I was afraid of that rabbit? <laughs> Everyone was right about you, Franco. You are stupid. <laughs> now the cat is mine. It's mine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. What in the world?